teaching to all the dignitaries and here yeah, the pranams to you all namaskars to you all when we talk about ganga in entire our country the problem is with the rivers even in telugu states krishna or godavari or tungabhadra they completely getting polluted a lot of industrial pollution is being left into the rivers and recharging of uh, rivers are not there the domestic pollution and the industrial pollution and the successive governments are not able to do anything and the ecological imbalance in our country is very rapidly getting destroyed in fact me forming a political party for a great reason is somewhere a political party should stand for ecological balance as rajendra singh ji said the development should be balanced keeping ecological balance in mind for latest exclusive updates please subscribe rms news entertainment exclusive also like share and comment thank you but the problem in our country is we try to ape west west but india is deeply embedded in our cultural heritage we believe in karma when we do something wrong it is going to affect us it will affect our children and that's why we don't exploit resources unlike west some way to take away the the culture, cultural bent of our country is going to damage and that is the reason why rapidly our natural resources are getting depleted and polluted and to give you an example in one of our cities called uh, vaizag in another 10 years there is going to be a, a big trouble for water shortage of water already there is a great shortage and there is no not going to be any water left that is the uh, forecast of the that's the present situation here so somewhere the entire river to revive the rivers of our nation let us start with ganga ganga ji is its we we respect our mother from and every part nook and corner of india there is a temple of shiva and we respect we we pray ganga there we call water as ganga no matter which which part of india we call it as ganga so ganga is not just for uttar bharat or dakshin bharat or puru pashchim it is for the entire nation and what happens in uttarakhand what happens in northern india it will it will happen to the rest of the india also so it is every indian's responsibility to stand for ganga the free flow of ganga that whatever the pollution is happening to stop the pollution to into ganga and this all concern for me i worked with i supported pradhan mantri narendra modi ji in 2014 i worked along with him and when the bjp came i thought ganga rejuvenation will happen when professor gd agarwal was doing fasting for the revival of ganga free flow of ganga after more than 100 days first i was hearing about it very small bit news and no one knows about it about the entire fasting only individuals like me who are bit keen for environment we 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 get to get the we used to get the information but i thought the current government is completely pro ganga and somehow it didn't happen when he was fasting and something his demands are not being met, met. forget about demands being met at least someone from the center should have come and i thought they would lift him they would request him and they would concede they would agree to his demands or at least they would have a dialogue that's what i had thought when he passed away when the sacrifice happened that re- deeply touched me that i awakened my sense of responsibility as an indian i felt bad no one could respond in our country for such a immense sacrifice and i could not be there on that particular day but though after a year later 
on his punyatiti to be here to take forward his demand whatever he stood for it is our, every indian's responsibility and whatever there are eminent people here swami ji is here a lot of experts are here and entire there are so many ashrams are here but matru sadan is very special something which stood for ganga there are swami ji is who gave up his life before and again swami gd agarwal and all of this when i look at all this and there are few more anger uh, brahmacharis and sanyasins who are willing to stand for ganga and it is i feel matru sadan has a special place and has a special role to play in safeguarding ganga and i feel whatever the guruji says and it is what we start cleansing ganga is cleansing the entire every river of india every rivulet every tributary and i feel whatever i think before we take responsibilities as patil ji says i think there should be one more discussion should be there and there are a lot of people around from uttaranchal had expressed to include natives into the into this wherever ganga is flowing the people from the states also they should be a part of it if i could come all the way from southern part of india to stand for ganga it is all the more responsibility for everyone ganga parivahak pra area i think people should be a part of this and somewhere we should make them a part of it and we should enlighten them we should educate them and i feel everyone somewhere i think all of us should sit one more time and make a, an elaborate discussion a round table conference somewhere whichever part you decide i think that we will define our role and responsibilities i am willing to do it this is for my nation this is for my country so i will whatever responsibility willing i would love to take it provided i want everyone to sit one more time to define the role and responsibilities and the as professor said fighting with government is going to be the toughest job they are heartless it is nothing but to take to get into power for the next elections but they're going to be heartless so to fight with a heartless government is going to be a tough job it is not about no- violence is not going to solve the issues it's only through path of non violence and we believe completely in the form of non violence the moment violence comes into the picture the purpose will be gone and india is not ready for a, a violent demonstrations or anything i feel non violent means as everyone agrees here will take it forward i prefer to take a resp- before committing anything i prefer to have one more round table conference on this to define a specific role and responsibilities for all of us and definitely i'm willing lo- willingly to take it forward whatever best what in my own capability i can take my perp- my strength is i can take it to the people whatever the news is happening today maybe it might confine to haridwar if it is any other day but now i can take you to the at least i can promise you i can take you to entire southern part of india and main cities of india that much i can promise you today for this particular news so i request our uh, rajan singh ji to before confining your role and responsibility i want you to i request you to go for one more elaborate meeting before uh, we take our role and responsibility i prefer patil ji and the uh, rest of all the eminent personalities here with the guidance of guru ji I request you to take it forward and uh, thank you for giving this opportunity jai hind for latest exclusive updates please subscribe rms news entertainment exclusive also like share and comment thank you